Hi, I'm Adolph Oliver, and uh, this is a little video clip about synthetic division. Now, synthetic division is a shortcut. What it does is under special cases, it allows us to do division by a binomial. And uh, what really is saving the time here is we don't write the variables and uh, we shorten up the subtraction process and the rest of the things that we normally do when we take a polynomial and divide it uh, by a binomial. Now, like I said, special cases. Here's the example. You have to have something like x plus 3 or maybe x minus 5. The idea being here that uh, the coefficient of the variable is a plus 1. You couldn't do this with 2x plus 3 or negative x plus 3. It's got to be x plus 3 or x minus 5. Now, it's really designed to go with the x minus because the minus is what does the subtraction that we do in regular binomial division. So if you have something like x plus, what you've got to do is split the plus up into two minuses so you get the correct starting number. Well, let's give you an example right here. Uh, 2x squared plus x minus 15. There's our regular polynomial. And we're dividing it by x plus 3. Now we notice that we have a nice plus 1 in front of our x here. So we can use this uh, synthetic division. But we have to do this first. Okay, the x plus 3 has to be split up so that we take the plus and split it into two minuses. Okay, there we go. Now, it's true that minus times minus combines to plus, so this is really x plus 3. But why we did this was to get the required x minus here, and that means then that the number that we're going to be using uh, out in front for a synthetic division has to be negative 3. Well, okay, there are lots of different ways that folks write this up. Here's one of them right here. I'm going to take that minus 3 and put it right out in front. And remember again, why we had to do minus 3 was since we were x plus 3, we had to split the plus and the two minuses because the synthetic division only works when we have an x minus, and so minus 3 is what goes with that. Now, here's how the rest of it gets set up. You just grab the coefficients and write them down. They have to be in descending order, and if there's anybody missing, you put a 0 in. Well, we've got everybody here, x squared, x to the first power in plain number. So here it goes. Okay, the coefficient of x squared is 2. The coefficient of x is 1. I'll only put minuses if uh, it's negative. If it's plus, I won't bother putting the pluses. And then the last number here, minus 15. Okay, here's how it works. I've got a line down here where I can start putting my answer below it. The first number always comes straight down. So it's a 2. Now, what we're going to do is zigzag here. So when I go up to the right, I'm going to take 2 times negative 3 to give me negative 6. Now, remember, first number comes straight down. Then whenever we go up diagonally like this, we take the number in the bottom, multiply it by the guy in front. Okay, and now we combine these. 1 minus 6 here is negative 5. Okay, well now, go on the diagonal again, but we have to multiply by the guy in front. Negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. Well, okay, combine that coming down and we get 0. Okay, this one comes out right on the button. The last guy is 0. Now, here's how you put it back together again. We're going to use remainders in this. Uh, the uh, first guy here on the right would be the remainder. Okay. The next guy would be 
the regular number. I'll put x to the 0 power. Remember, x to the 0 power is really 1. And then x to the first power. Here's how you put it back together once you get your uh, answer in synthetic division. First guy on the right is a remainder, which is 0 in this case, no remainder. The next guy, x to the 0, which is x, which is really just 1. Remember, any variable is 0 equals 1. But then I can show you how we just increase the x's because the next guy is going to be add 1 to the exponent here, and we get x to the first. So that tells me now here then that what I've got is this final answer. Okay, here it comes. 2 times x to the first, which is 2x, minus 5 times 1, which is minus 5. And then, of course, just uh, the remainder being 0. So here's our division answer right here. Now, let's like we did last time, prove to you that this works. How do we prove it? Well, we take the answer and multiply it by what we divided by. So I've got 2x minus 5 times x plus 3. These are a couple of binomials, so we can use our uh, FOIL shortcut. Multiply the two first together, I get 2x squared. Multiply the two last together, I get negative 15. And then, of course, do the two rainbows. And remember, the big rainbow is the O in FOIL. The little rainbow is the I. But this reminds us what to multiply together. So plus 2x times plus 3 is plus 6x. And then negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Well, these are like so we can combine them. Positive wins by 1, so just plus x. And, of course, notice that that happens to be what we started with. So that proves that this indeed works. Okay, well now, <clears throat> let's go on here and uh, uh, get a little bit more practice in this so you can see what goes. Okay, here we go. First thing you always do when you're doing synthetic division is you have to carefully check the divisor. You have to have a plus one in front of your variable here, and since we don't see anything, that's exactly a what we would assume. And uh, then notice this one is p minus 3. So since we got the required p and minus, it means a number in front this time. It's just going to be the 3. Well, OK, here it is. Here's the number in front. <coughs> now, notice, let's see, we got squared, first power, and plain number. So these guys are in descending order, and there's nobody that's missing. So we just write down the coefficients. And this is what makes this faster. There's less to write down. And we have minus 29, and then we have positive 14. Remember, the positive guys, I won't bother writing the signs, but the minus ones, I certainly will. OK, <laughs> then our bar here to write our answer down below. Now. Remember again, the first guy comes straight down the way he is. <clears throat> then we play the zigzag game. When you go up in a diagonal like this, you multiply on what's on the bottom by the guy in the box here. 9 times 3 is 27. Well, negative 29 plus 27 gives me negative 2. Okay, again. Now, once you get going, this, this is very quick. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Okay, then you come on down. 14 minus 6, well, leaves me with a positive 8. Now, remember again, we have to put the answer together here. The first guy on the right is always going to be the remainder. The second guy here is going to be the plain number. I can put x to the 0 because x to the 0 equals 1. And then uh, x to the next highest power, 0 plus 1, well, x to the first. Okay, well, that means then our answer here is simply 9x minus 2. Remember, x to the 0 here really equals 1. So minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. But now we've got a remainder, and it's positive. 
So R plus 8. Okay, here's another one. And I think you can begin to see here how if you're lucky enough to get to one of these special cases you can use synthetic division on, it goes much quicker than the uh, regular division by binomials. Now, first again, check what we're dividing by. We do officially have a plus one in front of the end, so we can use this synthetic shortcut. But notice we've got a plus seven. So here it is, n plus seven. Remember, we have to take that plus and split it into two minuses. Here we go, and of course we always separate signs with parents. Now, why do we have to do that? Because the synthetic process is based on having an n minus. The minus here is what does the subtraction uh, in the process. That's why you don't have to worry about it. So that means that the negative 7 here is the guy that's going to go out in front. So, okay, make our little box out in front. Here it is, negative 7. Now, grab the coefficients, but notice this. There's a power that's missing. There's no n to the first power right here. So we're going to set make that 0n when we go by. 0 times n to the first power is just 0. It's not there, but we need it to be a placeholder in our synthetic division. Okay, coefficient of the first guy is 1. Coefficient of the second guy here is 7. Now remember, we've got to put in our n to the first power, so the coefficient of that is 0. And then the plain number on the end is 8. Okay, well, now we're all set. As always, the first guy comes straight down the way he is. Then when we go up in the diagonal, we always multiply by the guy that's in the box. 1 times negative 7 is negative 7. Well, those guys zero out, so there we are. Okay, negative 7. Well, we better put our zig here. Here we go. 0 times negative 7, well, that's just going to be 0. Combine these down here, and we get 0. And then the last time, well, once again, 0 times negative 7 is going to be 0, but we end up then with an 8 on the end. Okay, well, here's how these guys go again. Just remember, you start from the right. The first guy's a remainder. We are going to have a remainder. Then we have x to the 0 power, which is the plain numbers, x to the first power, and x squared. Well, okay, let's put the final answer all together here. We've got 1x squared, so I can write x squared. Notice there's no x to the first, no plain numbers, so what we have is x squared remainder plus 8. Okay, let's take a look at one last example here of uh, the synthetic division. I mean, once you see how this goes, it's easy. The uh, first thing again, always check the divisor. We do have a plus 1 in front of the x. Now, if this wasn't a plus 1, you could not use synthetic division. You'd have to use regular uh, polynomial where you're dividing by a binomial. And we recently talked about that, but since we do have the plus one here, we can use this synthetic shortcut. But we have a plus here. So remember, as we've said, we, if you have a plus, you have to split it into two minuses. Here we go. Now notice, of course, if you combine the minuses together, you would get a plus again. So this is correct, but why we do this is a synthetic division has to have an x minus here so it works properly. And so what's the number it's going to go on the box for us? Out in front, negative 9. Okay, so put negative 9 in the box. Here it is. Now let's check the powers. Third, second, first. Ah, there's no plain number. Okay, so what we have to do is put a 0 in for that. Because not only do you have to have all the powers going down in order, 
but you also have to have a plain number on the end. Well, okay, here we go. The coefficient of x cubed is 1. The coefficient of x squared is 18. The coefficient of x is 77. And then we have to put in a 0 because this, in effect, would be just like plus 0 as a number. So that is 0. Okay, we're all set to go. There's our line, so we can put our answer below it. Okay, first guy again comes straight down the way he is. Every time you go up on the diagonal, you multiply by the guy in front. So 1 times negative 9 is negative 9. Then you just combine these guys coming down. Okay, 18 minus 9 gives me 9. Again, when we go up on the diagonal, multiply by the guy that's up in the box. So 9 times negative 9, negative 81. Okay, combine these coming down. Looks like we've got negative 4. Okay, now we have to go up one more time here. Negative 4 times negative 9 is positive 36. So now the 0 and the plus 36 combined give me 36. Okay, well now, again, to put it back together, remember the rightmost guy is always going to be your remainder. Then x to the 0, x to the 1st, x to the 2nd. You line your variables up so you know how to put it together. That makes it easy to get the final answer here. So here it comes. 1x squared, which I can just write as x squared, plus 9x, there it is, minus 4x to the 0. And remember, x to the 0 is 1, so this is our plain number. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. But now we got a remainder. It's positive, so r plus 36. Well, okay, there's synthetic division. Keep your eye open for cases where you've got these simple binomials that you're dividing by. As long as a variable has a plus 1 in front, okay, then you can use the synthetic division. And remember that if it's a plus here in the binomial, what you have to do is play the splits game so you have the required x minus.